This McGonagall deck is one of the most popular, frequently paired with the Gabraithian fire card. Today, we're testing this McGonagall deck in an aggressive environment and breaking down some key strategies for a clearer understanding of its functionality. Let's get started. To effectively use the McGonagall Echo deck style, you must pay full attention to the cards in your hand to outsmart and outmaneuver your opponents. Currently, our only option is to use Gubraithian Fire in combination with the prior Incantato Charm. Position the Gubraithian Fire directly on top of your opponent to make them waste precious movement points. Gubraithian Fire! You called? I'll always lend a hand. Next, position the second Gubraithian Fire Charm so that the opponent is within the center of the big circle. Gubraithian Fire! opponent surprised us with an orb of water, compelling me to utilize the Side Along Apparition spell to make a swift escape. Side along apparition. Now the book of spells. As we don't have any ideal card to combine with the Side Along Apparition charm, we'll sacrifice any cheap card to reset the pairing in this situation. Wizard I'll take Leave it to me. The opponent employed the, the standard Book of Spells charm, causing our deck to become disarrayed. Promptly discard those cards to free up your hand. And there's no need to worry, the removed cards don't affect the card pairing process. The Lunar Companion is causing us trouble. Let's neutralize her with our first paired Gabraithian Fire card. Also, discard the flawed paired card we created earlier due to the challenging circumstances imposed upon us by the opponent. While getting rid of summons, let's create an Accio and Incendio combo. Let's form another Gabraithian fire combo. Unfortunately, my Accio and Incendio combo was foiled by the opponent's Orb of Water charm. To compensate for the damage sustained, we'll deploy the Gabraithian fire combo. Now that our magic gauge is nearly full, we'll create the Inflatus and Whizbang combo. Inflatus, Whizbang. We'll create the Accio and Incendio combo. Excellent! The Inflatuses and Whizbang combo is prepared for action. The Kelpie is shielding the opponent, so we'll sacrifice our Axio and Incendio combo to deal with Daniel. Accio, going. You've got this. Let's create a Gubraithian fire combo while overcoming the Opali. Let's form a side along apparition and nebulous combo to heal and collect ourselves. Nebulous. Side along apparition. Let's assault the opponent with the Gabraithian fire combo. All the fire. Let's make our escape using the side along apparition and nebulous's combo giving ourselves time to recuperate and prepare for unleashing the formidable Inflatus and Whizbang combo. 
Because of Inflatus's having a slower projectile speed, it's crucial to release it from the front line, leaving no opportunity for the opponent to react. Let's finish off with the powerful Gabrathian Fire Charm. That was an intense match. Let's examine her card levels. Mm, her card levels look quite impressive. In summary, the McGonagall Echo is enjoyable to play. It's like a mini-game of creating combos. If you're keen on a more intellectual approach to dueling your opponents, the McGonagall Echo might be an excellent choice. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. How could I lose so easily to Cassandra? How dare you question my supremacy? Do you even have any idea who you're speaking to? I am sorry. I have to go. What a weirdo!